Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Let's give him praise. Let's give him glory. Hallelujah. Today is the day five of the fifth. I'm sorry, day five of the 14 day full liquid fast. Stand strong these days of witchcraft and deception, says God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We're, we're, I'm telling you, they're doing a lot. They're doing a lot. But let me go ahead and go ahead and tell you, I pray that you wake up giving him glory. I don't know about you, but this fast, I'm telling you, God is doing a mighty work in and through me. Come on, somebody. I can feel, I can feel it. I hope you can feel it too, especially if you're on the fast, because here's the deal. I'm telling you in these days, you won't last unless you fast. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to speak condemnation or derogatory, trying to make y'all feel bad about anything, but I'm so serious. It's time to push back those plates because guess what? The enemy should not be this strong on the earth. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So let me go ahead and walk this thing through. God was saying, well, y'all already know this is their month, but it's not just their month. They've been doing this since the beginning of time and they're going to do it to the end of time. Witchcraft is just period. Deception. Oh, that's the one God wanted me to focus on this morning. So many people are being deceived because the world the entertainment. See, entertainment has came and I'm, I'm explaining to you what entertainment is. Enter. Entertainment. That means something is entering in your spirit and it's trying to contain and taint your spirit. Mint means it's like a compartment. That means it's inside. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But let me go ahead and get to my scriptures. Scriptures, um, I'm going to start from today. And good morning, everyone. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah to his name. Um, the first one is going to come out of Luke. Luke 4, and it says, And Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. You know, when you go on a fast, when you go on any kind of assignment, come on, somebody, when you're talking about getting closer to the Lord, it's like going into the wilderness and the spirit of God will lead you because what he's trying to do is get something out of you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He's trying to actually get, give you more wisdom, give you more discernment, give you a heavy anointing so that you can carry out your assignment. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So let me continue. Verse, that was verse one. Verse two says, being 40 days tempted of the devil. And in those days he did eat nothing and then were hungered. Now I'm going to read that again. Being 40 days tempted of the devil. And in those days he did eat nothing. And when they were ended, he afterward hungered. Now I want to continue to reading verse three. And the devil said unto him, if thou be the son of God, don't you understand? He going to test you. He going to test you. Are you a Christian? Are you really a child of God? Come on, somebody. Y'all talking about test trials and tribulations. We are ordained for that because guess what? God wants you to know you because God already know what we're going to do. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And he says, if thou be the son of God, command this stone that it may be made bread. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And verse four, and Jesus answered him saying it is written that man should not live by bread alone but by every word of God I'm going to read that one again I'm in Luke chapter 4 verse 4 and Jesus answered him saying it is written that man should not live by bread alone but by every word of God did you understand what I just said but by every word of God that lets you know you have to get in your word Verse five, and the devil taking him up at a high mountain showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment's time. Now notice it said kingdoms. Now y'all understand why there's Hollywood and all this other stuff that people just love and want to be a part of. Verse six, and the devil said unto him, all this power will I give thee and the glory of them for that is delivered unto me. God allowed that fool. God is allowing him to do what he does because it's a test. Oh, come on somebody. Tell somebody right in the comments. It's a test. Pass the test. People, let me tell you something. This, the first person on me, I said the first person. Well, yeah, technically Jesus was the first one to actually pass the test and actually be given the test. So now, you know, we're going to be given a test. He says, and the devil said, verse six, I'm in Luke chapter four, verse six, for those that are just joining. And the devil said unto him, 
All this power will I give thee. Now y'all understand? And y'all want to be the rich and famous. Do y'all understand where the power coming from? Oh, I'm about to break that thing down. Hey, uh, let me continue this. And the glory of them for that is delivered unto me and to whomsoever I will give it. If thou will just worship me and all should be thine. Y'all ain't hear what I just said, huh? Verse eight. I'm going to read that verse seven again. If thou therefore will worship me, all shall be thine. Y'all wonder, and y'all actually, and the Bible says that you should not be jealous of evil people. You guys, of course, they're going to try to entice you. They got it on TV. They got it on social media. Oh, guess what? We're living the life. But what they don't tell you is them demons that come after them at night. What they don't tell you is them tormenting spirits. What they don't tell you is how the elite mess with them. What they don't tell you, you don't hear what I just say. It's a cost. It's a cost to have fellowship with a, with a demon. Y'all ain't ready for me this morning. I'm going to tell you that now. Okay, verse 9. And he brought him to Jerusalem and set him on a pinnacle of the temple and said unto him, If thou be the son of God, cast thyself down from hence. And 10, God said it again. Jesus said it again. For it is written, he, no, actually it was the devil. For it is written, he should give his angels charge over thee to keep thee. Y'all wondering why the, in, the enemy is so much in the church? The enemy knows the gospel. Come on, somebody. The enemy knows the word of God. Verse 11. And in their hands, they should bear thee up, lest at any time thou should dash thy foot against a stone. 12 and Jesus answering saying unto him it is said thou should not tempt the law of thy God oh come on somebody verse 13 and when the devil had ended all the temptation he departed from him for a season oh that's to let you know that the devil gonna be in and out that's what he does that's why um, David says in Psalms he says in the presence of your enemies come on somebody that God will bless you some of y'all complaining about your enemies you need to just pull up a chair come on somebody hallelujah and eat at the table y'all ain't ready for me for real verse 14 and jesus returned in the power that's what i want to read come on somebody hallelujah i'm in luke 4 14 and jesus returned in the power of the spirit into galilee and there went out fame of him through all the region round about notice and he taught his synagogues being glorified of all come on somebody hallelujah and that was the word of god but i also want to tell you what god says in luke 10 and 19 it says behold i give unto you power to tread over serpent and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing but by any means shall hurt you praise god praise god let me tell y'all something what's going on God says that you are not walking in your authority. There is no reason that it should be death and mayhem and murder the way it is. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It is time for us to take our rightful place. It is time for us to say no more, Satan. I'm not talking about getting on social media, acting a fool, cursing, um, getting all this made. Yes, it is sad. But I'm going to tell you right now, the Bible says and the word of God says the kingdom of God suffer violence and the violence take it by force what you gonna do come on somebody hallelujah but you can't do anything if you don't possess anything meaning that if you're not filled with the holy ghost that's why i read that this morning come on somebody hallelujah it is time to get filled with the holy ghost but let me go ahead and do this thing the way god says to do it come on somebody i want to show you just some slides here praise god praise god hallelujah Y'all just bear with me. Y'all know I got to be. Okay, God says, stand strong in the age of deception. Let me tell y'all something. There's so much deception going on right now. Everything that look like God, sound like God, is not God. You have to test it by the Spirit. Let me tell you something. God is not, oh, I'm about to go in. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Let me tell you something. God ain't going to tell you to get on no stage half naked. I don't care whether you're saying gospel, secular, whatever. And I'm going to tell you right now, y'all straddling fence people, y'all better stop playing with God. Y'all going to get mad at me. I'm telling you, I'm full of the Holy Ghost. You know, I, I've been fasting for five days with nothing. It ain't got nothing trying to impress nobody, but I'm full of the Holy Ghost. Y'all ain't ready. Come on, somebody. I'm going to name some names and y'all can get mad if you want. You see Fantasia? I like her. But here's the deal. One minute she's singing about God, the next minute she have a whole poster and you can't help it because when I look on Facebook to see Dr. Miles Monroe or anybody else that I want to listen to, there she is laying down in, in some kind of seductive form. But yes, she's talking about God all the time. Let me tell y'all something. I don't care who you are and you can get mad if you want to. Please come for me because I'm a love on you, but I'm gonna tell you the truth in love. Come on, somebody. Y'all got to make up your mind. You can't serve God today and then serve Satan the next hour. The devil is a lie. Y'all better quit playing with God. Either you're going to stand for God or you're going to be with Satan. I'm telling you what thus said the Lord.
Yes, I'm not saying people are bad people, but you got to stop mixing holy with unholy, said the Lord. That's why we, our churches are tainted. That's why our people are tainted. One minute y'all want to be in church. Hallelujah. Speaking in tongues. I'm talking about talking about the blood of Jesus. The next time y'all sitting up there cussing somebody out, having sex, drinking, fornicating, doing all that stuff, and then come back on a Sunday. Hallelujah. The devil is a liar and so are you. You got to learn how to be consistent. Consistent. I'm going to say it again. The word is consistent. It's called spiritual authority and spiritual discipline. You got to discipline yourself. Let me tell you something. And I'm going to keep it transparent like I always do. We all be wanting to buck out and get wild if your flesh allow you to. But once you start being consistent, consistent in the word of God, consistent in understanding who God is, do you understand? I have to stay in character. There it goes. Character. Y'all notice that they call um, Disney um, characters characters. You want to know why? And even in a role like in Hollywood, because your character is everything. I had to learn that the hard way. You, you know, when I was young and, and I like to use myself as an example so y'all can understand what God is talking about. When I was young, I was always headstrong. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to say what I want to do. I'm going to go where I want to go. And it cost me a lot. I didn't understand. I didn't understand that my choices that I made indirectly affected everybody that I was connected to, especially my family. Some of you are making choices just because I do what I want to do. I'm grown. You ain't that grown. You silly. I'm going to tell you right now, you're silly. Anytime that you can make choices that affect everybody else and you don't care, something's wrong. That's selfishness. That's a spirit of greed. Come on, somebody. That's a spirit, a spirit of foolishness. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going to walk that thing too. too. You have to make wise choices, not just for yourself, but everybody that is connected to you. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Because let me tell you why sin is so prevalent right now. You ever heard that later I'm going to pay the piper? Right now, God is not really delivering like, um, you know, like I would say, well, he is paying people back. Don't get it twisted, but it's not as strong as it used to be back in the biblical days, right? So people thinking, oh, I didn't got away. Can I tell you something? You don't get, get away with anything. Sooner or later, come on, somebody, hallelujah, help me walk this thing through. Sooner or later, you're going to do, you're gonna have to pay for what you did. Now, you can sit up there and play games if you want to, but sooner or later, no one gets away with anything. That includes myself. The strong delusion is that God is not God. Is not God. God. The strong delusion like, oh, there is no God. All this ancestry. Some of you people, and it started in college. It started in college because they tried to indoctrinate me. They try to make y'all think that as a higher power. No, it's God. God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Now they're trying to do ancestry. Now they're talking about a new wave, a new thought. Let me tell you something. The enemy is trying to do everything in its power, in his power to turn you from God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So he sent a strong delusion, a strong deception to make you think that God is not real. Some of you talking about your dead relatives are gods. Are you serious? Are you serious? The Bible say the dead know nothing. Y'all better quit acting like y'all crazy. Come on, somebody. Oh, I'm going to keep it a hundred. I'm not going to know. You ain't got no mental illness. That's a demon. No, you, you ain't, you ain't just a, that's a murdering spirit. You ain't just a lion. That's a lying spirit. Everything is a spirit. They didn't came and, and I got to say, I'm not against education, but notice I talk heavy against it. When you get intelligent, you think you're more intelligent than God. There ain't no, I don't care how many degrees you ever get. You will never, baby, outsmart the Holy Ghost, baby. Not God. Hallelujah. The devil is a liar and so are you. Don't you understand that they are indoctrinating our schools, colleges. As a matter of fact, they own everything so they could do everything. The new age, that's what they call it, the new age. Well, God says that he's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. I'm telling you right now, you got to stand up. You got to get in your word. You got to fast. You got to pray. You got to come against things that are not of God. That's There it is right there. Most of you are go alone to get alone. I'm going to say it again. Most of you go alone to get alone. I, I learned when God called me and we had that long talk one night and I cried. I realized that people are not going to like me. I realized they're going to talk about me. I realized they're going to mock me. I realized they're going to laugh at me. 
at me. I realize, I realize, and I don't care. Because one thing he said, Deanna, do you love me? And that's all that matters. Now, let me go ahead and tell you, I'm not trying to come against everybody. I'm not trying to hurt nobody. But it is, and it stands. Don't get, don't take it personal. This kingdom business. Come on, somebody. Y'all know about business, right? God says, be fervent in business. Well, guess what? Apostle Deanna going to tell you what, it, what time it is. And I don't care if you don't like me. I'm worried about your soul, honey. Because you'll see me in heaven talking about, you know what? Thank you for that word, sister. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all sitting up there worrying about who like you, who don't like you. The devil is a lie. The Bible says in Isaiah that the blood will be on your hands. Some of y'all be seeing stuff. You won't say nothing. You're scared. Oh, come on, somebody. That's what God want me to read, too. Praise God. Praise God. Just one moment. I got to read 2 Timothy to y'all. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All right. 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy. Um chapter one, verse seven says, and I pray that y'all, you gotta start meditating, meditate on Luke 10, 19 and meditate on this chapter and you will get stronger. It says, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. I'm gonna tell y'all why y'all don't say nothing. Y'all scared. Y'all scared. And truth be told, I'm bold enough to tell you, I used to be timid too. I used to be scared. I was not this person today. I'm telling you, you know what got me bold? The word of God, because anytime you, oh, I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Anytime you sp start spending time with God in a secret place, oh, you you be you go in like a little cat, but you come out like a lion because God will tell you, I'm with you. I'll go before you. I'll stand with you. And if, as I stand with you, nobody will be able to come against you. Y'all ain't ready for me. Stop being scared, says the Lord. Do what God have called you to do. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I got some other slides to show y'all. It's too much deception in this hour. Come on, somebody. It's too much stuff going on in this hour. It's too much. Oh, Lord, I got the wrong thing, y'all. Just bear with me. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Dang, on it. Where is it? I think th I thought this was it. Oh, hold on. Hold on, you guys. I'm coming. Y'all know me and my... um. Okay, hold on. Okay, I got it right here. All right, so this is what God was showing me. He said, you have to learn how to exercise spiritual authority. Some of you don't know your authority, but you can't exercise it because you're not in your word. I'm not that great. I'm not trying to act like I'm better than everybody else, but I'm a do. I, I get in this Bible every day. I'm not trying to uh, make y'all impressed or something like that. I, I get in this word because there's no way. Thank you, Lord. I hear you. There's no way that I can come before you and preach and teach and reach without understanding what God is saying, why he is saying it and studying that word. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. I bet you y'all will be, be on them reality shows. Shows all that YouTube looking at that gossip and everything else. Come on, somebody. You got to get before God. Hallelujah to his name. All right, let me continue. He says, servanthood and authority. Sanctification and spiritual maturity open up the way to fuller development of spiritual gift and greater spiritual authority. We have to walk this thing out. You have to be consistent. Sanctification involves, listen, look at it, fasting, prayer, sacrifice. There it is. People, I'm going to tell you right now, obedience and holy living. I'm going to tell you what people want to do. I want to feel good. And I remember when I was unsaved, I used to like to feel good too. Oh, I'm about to walk this thing out. People love sex. We have a, we, that's what the enemy using. Why you think everybody trying to be naked? Everybody want to be sexy. I'm going to tell you right now. I still have not found a sexy Christian in the Bible. Oh, come on somebody, ladies. And, and uh, you older ladies, y'all know better than that. Y'all acting like y'all Popeyes for real. Breasts, legs, and thighs. God never told us to do that. He said, dress my Honestly. That's why these young girls are doing what they're doing. That's our fault. Come on, somebody. Let's be real about it. Then y'all want to be jealous of them and talk about them when you're supposed to be telling them. And you ain't got to be ugly with them. You ain't got to be jealous. All you got to say is, baby, come here. You are too beautiful to be dressing like that. We're supposed to teach the younger ladies. Oh, man, y'all got me on one this morning. I'm so tired of it. And y'all wonder why. Let me continue this. Spiritual authority. Along with that responsibility comes instruction, counsel, warning, correction, and even rebuke when necessary. Cause y'all don't want nobody to tell y'all nothing. God rebukes all of us. And guess what? We have the authority and the right to rebuke each other. Yes, it's done in love. And sometimes it's harsh, but I'm, t I don't believe that God called us to break each other's spirit. Now the devil is a lie. I'm not supposed to break your spirit to where you just give up, but now I'm going to be real with you. A lot of people don't like correction. You don't want nobody to tell you nothing. Well, let me tell you from somebody that was like that sooner or later, honey you're gonna be glad to listen oh come on somebody play games if you want to hallelujah god has given the authority to the believer over principalities and powers authority power to influence or command thought 
opinion or behavior. Let me tell y'all something right now. Y'all got to come up. I'm talking about, thank you, Lord. You're right, Monique. Caught up in emotion. That, and the enemy, the enemy is playing a good one on that. I'm talking about. Thank you, Lord. I hear you. You got to watch what you're listening to, people. You got to watch what you, um, watch your gates, your ear gate, your eye gate, your private part. Stop laying down with, you know, mom used to say, if you lay down with a dog, you're going to get fleas. What's well, the same thing? If you pay attention and put bad stuff in your spirit, you're going to speak bad. You're going to talk bad. You're going to think bad. You're going to act bad. I don't believe that there's bad people in genuinely. I think it's because of what they assume and, uh, and not only that consume, assume and consume and their atmosphere. What was in your atmosphere? What was in your environment as you was growing up? I had so many things working against me and that's not against my family or anything. We had so many generational curses. It was crazy. I had to get delivered over and over and over. I'm going somewhere. Don't you know you're always being delivered, healed and delivered. God help me with my mind. God help me with my spirit. God help me with my flesh. God help me with my mess. Y'all ain't ready for me this morning. You got to you got to be real with you. God help me. Come on somebody, hallelujah. That's why the enemy is able to deceive us the way he's deceiving us. You have to have spiritual authority and power and it comes from the holy word and the holy bible of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, but I'm going to preach this thing till I die. I promise you that. I'm not playing. The devil can't have my brothers and sisters. The devil can't have our children. The devil can't have it. Hallelujah. The power of God is real. The power of God is real. The power of God is real, said God. Hallelujah. So, whoo, hallelujah. I feel the power of God up in here. There's so much witchcraft. That's what they're doing. You Let me tell you something. If y'all ever notice, even in the electronics, y'all don't notice everybody being their phones. I'm telling you, thank you, Lord. I don't know why you want me to go here, but I'm telling you, this was years ago. I was holding my phone one day and I don't know what came from that phone, but it started hurting my hand. That's when I started doing the research. Let me tell y'all something. You don't notice that everybody's in their phone where they're walking, driving, the children act like they, they can't live without social media. Y'all don't think that's not normal? Oh, oh, oh y'all think the content is just that beautiful? No, I believe that this is chemical warfare and spiritual warfare, and they got everybody. If I can just take their minds from God, if I can fulfill their mind with mess and violence and hate and anger and rage, don't y'all, and sex, that's the biggest thing. They got these kids in sexual education at three, four years old, gender confusion. Y'all don't understand what's happening here? So it's time for us to pray against everything that the enemy is throwing at us. Oh, you, you, you throwing that? We're going to pray against that. You're doing that? We're going to pray against that. It's a way that God did it. Jesus Christ, he said, it is written. We already win because guess what? The battle is not ours. It is God's, but we have to put ourselves in position. And yes, it's going to hurt. Let's, let's talk. Let's talk for real. Let's talk for real. I've been on five days um, liquid fast. You don't think I'm hungry? Oh, oh, I'm trying to be real with you, but, but, but you know what? I, I, I get, I start getting in my word. I start speaking in tongues. I start saying, help me, God, help me, God. I, I, I gotta, I gotta do this to the end. This is sacrifice. Y'all don't want to sacrifice nothing. Soon as something start, Oh, it's hurting. Oh, I can't do it. It's time for the Christian to get strong. Oh Lord, I feel the power of God. When I read that Bible, I'm so embarrassed. And I'm gonna tell y'all why that's our kin people. I'm just going to do it in layman terms. That's our ancestors. They were strong in the Lord. Why are we so weak? Come on, somebody. Let's be real. Why are we weak? Because we have allowed the enemy to taint our spirit with stuff of the world. Point blank in the store. And you like it. You love to be aroused. Come on, somebody. You love entertainment from the flesh and mess. Y'all know it's true. Drama sells. Sex sells. But but you you ask somebody to come to a conference, it might sell. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. I'm just being real. And, and the thing is, you're paying for something that hurts you. Oh, come on, somebody. Wondering why you're having thoughts of another woman or another man or both. Y'all ain't ready to talk about they bisexual. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Or thoughts of suicide, which I rebuke all that. Or thoughts of murder and rage. That is spirits that is being poured out even through Facebook. That's why before I get on any social media or anything, I, even on here, I anoint myself and I say, God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the blood of Jesus comes against you, Satan. The blood of Jesus comes against you, Satan. The blood of Jesus comes against you, Satan. 
I protect myself by the blood of God. God, keep me. Let virtue go in and don't let anything get transferred. It's all spiritual. Now, y'all can believe these intelligent people if y'all want to. Talking about mental health. This, this, that's a lie. That's a demon. Find it in the Bible. You can't. You can't. There are two scriptures about it, but it has says nothing about it being um, um, uh, uh, illness. Everything that was in that Bible was a spirit and Jesus cast it out. I'm so tired of these lying people because all they're doing is just doing it for money. But what, the, but what they're really doing, everything is propaganda. Because when martial law starts, everybody that call on the name of Jesus, they're going to say you're crazy. Now, you can think I'm playing if you want to. They're going to say you're crazy. They're going to say you're crazy. And, and forerunners and leaders, they're going to say, oh, they're they extremists. We got to lock them up or put them in FEMA camps or kill them. Y'all think it's a game? They hated Jesus and they hate us. That's the bottom line. They, they trying to do everything to take God out of everything. Y'all don't understand that? Hallelujah to his name. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. Y'all better be strong in the Lord. And I'm going to tell you right now, God say, choose this day who you will serve. Stop being on the fence. Too many of y'all, one day y'all love God. Next day you want to cuss somebody out. That ain't God. That ain't God. Because when you are truly, truly, I'm talking about surrender to the Holy Ghost, you're always, God, make me better. God, I forgive. God, I want to live for you. God, I want to die for you. God, help me. The Spirit will convict you. Because if you, I'm a, I said it yesterday, I'm going to say it again. If you are not surrendered to the Holy Spirit for real, you're capable of anything. And I don't trust you. I don't trust you. And you shouldn't trust you, truth be told. Y'all ain't ready for me. Hmm? The devil is a liar. The spirits be transferring through the TV. Ooh, especially through the music. That's his main thing because he mad because he got kicked out of heaven. Ain't nobody told that food to rise up against God. Now, uh, now this is how he feel, point blank. Since I got to go to hell, I want to take as many as y'all with, with me. You think he playing? And he's using people. Kanye West, all these big names, he using them. And that's sad. Just pray for him. But... Y'all don't see what time it is? And y'all talking about that's God. Most people don't know the spirit of God, truth be told. Because if you did, you would test the spirit by the spirit and you would find out that that ain't God. God would never go against his word and they never say Jesus Christ is Lord. They'll say Jesus Christ is King. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me this morning. But they won't say Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Y'all better understand what time it is. All right, well, God bless you, God keep you. And this is Apostle Deanna Dixon, Roll Out Soldiers, for that is who we are. God bless.